you've been watching Conan Kruger, you know that Kruger has been Brock Purdy's biggest supporter since he saw him a lot in training camp. Larry was there most days. He saw Brock. He liked what Brock had to offer. Brock came through yesterday. So I want to ask Larry, what do you like about what you saw from Brock in his first extended action? Uh, I, I what I like is just that um, I liked him in mini camp, and I just the fact that he he's got a solid base, he's got a really easy repeatable motion, he's got a little bit more zip on the ball than you think, and he's a little bit more than you think across the board. Like you know, he's a little bit more athletic than you right. think. Right. He's a right. little stronger than you think. He's a little you know calmer and smarter than you think. Mm. He's a little bit more. He's a little bit. He's a lot more competitive than the average yes. quarterback. And that's those are good traits, man. Those are really good traits. The ball, I'll say this. I was talking to um, somebody the, the other day about Purdy, and he said, you know, really at the end of the day, it's like for rookie quarterbacks, it's rare that the ball comes out on time mm -hmm. consistently. And with this guy, the ball does come out on time. I think it was Jimmy Ward, actually, that told us in the post game uh, when we did the talk sport interview was that, that the ball comes out on time and you know, that can't be coached. I mean, you know, you watch enough football, it either does or doesn't guys are a little early, a little late ball comes out on time with pretty good accuracy and pretty good zip. So I, I think they can still win with him. I don't know if they can, I don't know if they were a team that could win the super bowl period uh, with or without him, Trey, Jimmy, but uh, you know, I don't think there's a huge difference between what Garoppolo was giving you and what Purdy potentially can give you. I feel like the poise in the pocket we're, we're talking about and the timing that he plays with, it, it is a bit of an inherent trait, but I think it's also a function of experience. What we see is a guy who started four years in college, and it shows in a good way. I also like the way he can avoid sacks. I think he's actually more elusive significantly than Jimmy Garoppolo. And there were plays that uh, Purdy got away where – Jimmy wouldn't have. I also like how he throws the ball in the run. When he's rolling to his right, he can hit guys along the sideline. I think that's pretty nice. And my favorite thing about Brock Purdy, this is a guy I didn't like in training camp, but now that I've seen him, I like the way he plays in the red zone. I think he's aggressive. I think that they might their red zone efficiency just might go up with him. I'm not saying the offense will be better with him. He, I have reservations as well. We'll talk about that. But once they get down there, I really like the way he plays. The number one thing you need in the red zone as a passer is accuracy because the windows are so small. Yes. And I, that was the one thing I tweeted about it the other day or, you know, in camp, I retweeted it yesterday that um, he's the most accurate between I watched Trey. I watched Jimmy. Um, I've seen the other guys they've brought in. This guy is the most accurate quarterback they've had um, in a long time. I mean, this guy really throws strikes. And it's and it's he does it repeatedly. I mean, you watch it for a day, you're like, eh. you know, it doesn't. He's not. He doesn't wow you, right? Because he's not overly right. big or physical. Right. He doesn't he's have a little small. He doesn't have a strong on the arm. Side, you know, yeah. little. There's a total reason he was the last pick in the draft. I mean, it's, it's no. It's not like how did this? It's like yeah, I can see it. I can see right. it. Right. Yeah. But then you start to see the projection of where he is and where he's going. What he has, they can't teach. He's accurate. He's poised. He's smart. He knows the offense. You mentioned it. He's made 47 career starts. Um, it's hard to get that experience in football. Yeah. It's hard. And, and, I look at and, Trey. And, and all he's, not only that, yeah. he's, you know, it's one thing to quarterback SC like Matt Leiner when they mm -hmm. were loaded. It's another thing to quarterback Iowa, Iowa State, State in the Big 12. Right. You know, when, when you're only favored to win maybe three or four games in your schedule. This mm -hmm. guy completed 73% of his passes. He was like mm -hmm. third in the nation his senior year throw strikes. And when you're in the hmm. red zone, what you're going to see more from the Niners, they're going to throw more balls into the end zone for touchdowns as opposed they to didn't, throwing it. Whenever Jimmy would get there, it was like, it. we're throwing to the flat. We're th it's like, what, what was that? Was that just not trusting Jimmy's accuracy? Yeah, I don't <laughs> Seriously, That always would k kill me the last five years. Throw the ball into the end zone. Yeah. I, yes, I think Purdy did. Some guys are better anticipatory throwers than others. This okay. guy, I think, is like that. I, I thought you know there were a couple plays he made. The, the one where he beat the blitz and he found Kittle in the middle of the field and he took a big hit. I mean, it really showed the total yeah, nice. traits. He audible to the play. He showed the footwork. He got the quick release. He put it on Kittle's hands. He took the hit. 
and he got up for the next snap. I mean, that's how it's coached up. There's not a lot of guys who can do it better than that.